Here we are fully masked off. So we are uh, ready to spray this thing. Different methods and uh, ways around certain things have been used here. Um, you know, we've been doing this for a while, so uh, we have different things that we've figured out over time. Any hole with a thread, we're using cones of tape around the windows. Primary masking method with uh, wire tape and then masking tape. We've skirted it all the way to the ground as to not get overspray on any of the uh, suspension parts. Unwanted holes have been taped over. And we'll spray over that and they'll be like they never existed. Everything's weighed down with our proprietary rhino cinder blocks. Gas door has been removed. We'll rhino that separately. The hole's been masked off. Here's the rear view. The tailgate handle, we've ma masked off primar primarily here. We will be removing that masking and spraying it, but uh, it's really difficult to remove this tailgate handle from this truck, so uh, we are um, going to go about it this way. We didn't want to rhino it the same thickness as we're doing the rest of the tailgate, because that could hinder the operation of it, so we masked it off, we're going to spray the tailgate, and then we'll remove it and spray a little bit more, and then the tailgate handle will get its coating as well. Hooks, we've masked off. Those are going to receive a lot of punishment, so no need to put Rhino on those. And that's it. So the next time you see this sucker, it'll be rhinoed, or at least in the process of getting rhinoed to try and get some video of that. Here's the machine. We are mixing the B-side right now. So it's about to be on. First we're going to spray the top of the truck as he's doing now and we'll work our way down. Uh, we'll make sure we get the texture right on the top before we move on because uh, you know you don't want to have to go back up. You want to always be moving downward. So um, yeah get the high spots first from the ladder from the high position and then move downward. The rest of it's going to be pretty much the same, so you're kind of looking at what goes on. Next video, we will show the finished product. But we are done with the spraying. The texturing is all done. Now we uh, just need to spray top coat onto it to uh, give the color a little more longevity. But uh, it turned out pretty nice. kind of hard to get a good idea of what the texture looks like. But definitely you can get some idea. Now it's time for me to get out of the way so we can get the texturing done. Or I'm sorry, not the texturing, but the uh, top coating. The top coat has been applied. So uh, we are all done with uh, the work that needs to be done on this truck. So now all we have to do is basically take off all the masking. 
and uh, then pull it out of the booth and uh, we're done. We do still have some parts to do. So uh, we're not completely done with this project, but uh, the top coat and the rhino and the hard stuff is all done. The parts are now over here. Steps, mirrors, plates and whatnot, bezels, all need to be sprayed. But we'll get to that in due time. The project itself is looking good. So we rolled her out of the booth. So you're looking at the finished product of the exterior. Now we still have parts to do that will need to be installed, but um, you get a general idea of the uh, outside appearance of the vehicle at this point. If I was going to describe it, I would say a textured semi-gloss black. Still have the tail lights to install and uh, the fuel door. The bumper's done. We did not spray the hooks, and the hooks are going to take too much abuse. So you want to not spray those. Tailgate handle is nicely sprayed, but not too thick. get an idea of the texture here. So yeah, we're pretty satisfied. We're looking good. I'm going to try and get video up when uh, everything is finished as well. And hopefully we can include it in the same video. But there you have it. International MXT fully rhinoed.